Hi, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Thomas Slack with Shed Windows and More. Today, what we're going to do is be going over one of the most uh, asked about questions, which is going to be our single pane shed windows. We here at Shed Windows and More and I specialize in a single pane aluminum window designed for sheds. The nice thing about a single pane aluminum window is it's going to be an affordable, cost effective, product and instead of going with a vinyl or a storm product that you find at your big box stores. The great thing about us here at Shed Windows and More is this is what we specialize in, this is what we do. So we can have all the different unique sizes and different mounting styles to prevent that, that you're going to need for your shed or any kind of portable building that you're building. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of our most popular items. Today I have here is our 14 by 21 aluminum single pane shed window. One of the great things about uh, the windows that we manufacture and produce is all of our aluminum single pane shed windows are going to come with tempered glass. Now, some of you may, not, may know what that means, some of you don't. Basically, tempered glass is a heat treated process to strengthen the glass so it makes it harder to break. One of the great things about it is if this window does ever break, it's not going to break into big pointy shards. It's going to break into smaller pebble-like pieces like you see in the side window of your car. So it's great for it to be around kids and animals. We did this across the board for safety. So let's go over what and that this mounting, different mounting styles are since it's one of our most asked questions. This here is a flush mount. Flush mounts are designed for T111 and LP smart siding buildings. The great thing about this, it's just a straight nailing flange with a bevel on all four sides, which is where you'll place your trim. It's real easy with a nice, beautiful, simple profile. Once you put your framing up your siding, you go ahead, slide the window in, add your silicone and that to the rear and you press in, go ahead and then just add your screws or if you want to nail it, you can do so as well. Then I take whatever trim design or cut you want, place it along this edge and you're done. What it does is it gives you a nice recessed window look, which is going to be your more traditional look. Let's go ahead and take a look at our other mounting style. So what I have here is going to be our 12 by 18 uh, J channel window. So the great thing right off the bat is you're going to notice this also has a nailing flange, just like our flush mount did, but there's a slight difference. Once we turn the window, you actually see the profile is going to be different. The front of the window actually sticks off of the nailing flange. This is what we typically use in our vinyl and corrugate metal applications. The design of this J channel gives you a 7 8 inch gap, which is what allows your vinyl and your metal to slip right on in. So when you're cutting it and you're getting it, trying to get everything nice and straight, if you're slightly off, it's not a big deal. This will be able to hide it and also allow all of that to butt up against without having to buy additional trim pieces for your vinyl or your metal. Now, one of the other things a lot of people like to do is they like to, instead of using a flush mount on your T111 or LP smart setting, is use our J channel because it's gonna give you a different look and aesthetic. And that look is aesthetic, it basically is you're going to take your trim pieces and you're going to place it in to the in that J channel where normally you would put it on that flush mount bevel. What this does now is give you more of a complete finished window look versus the traditional recessed look. Same concept as four, you're still going to put your framing up your siding, put your silicone on your edge, press your window against it, put all your screws in then run your vinyl and metal or even your trim. Frequently asked question is how do I install a shed window? Installing a shed window is much simpler than installing a residential style window. What I have here is a simple display that's going to kind of illustrate what we're doing. So I have here a display designed for a 14 by 21 inch window. When it comes to your building, if you're building 16 on center, 24 on center, whatever it's designed to, or whatever you are designing it for. It, now, this makes it real simple. What we need to do is worry about what window size we're going with, 
so we know what the rough opening is. Now, what is the rough opening mean? Rough opening is the space between the inside of the studs and inside of the bottom plate and header. This is the, the size of the hole that you're going to put in your building that your wind is going to slip into. Now, for here I have and then all of our studs running and then our two main studs, our jack studs running vertically. Then I have a header and then I have a header plate. Now, I use this in best practice. Some people go without this. It's good to have a header plate, even if it's not a, you're not running and splitting a stud, because what it does is still allow to create stability and structure for dynamic pressure and wind. So I still like adding this header plate. Um, in residential, we normally use two by six. In most portable buildings, we use two by fours. So this is going to be pretty simple. You add your framing. Once your framing is built, you would then add your full sheet of whatever siding you're doing. For vinyl buildings, you would just do OSB. For non-vinyl buildings, you would do your LP Smart Siding or your T111. So once you put your siding up, in this case, we use LP Smart Siding, you'd have a solid piece. Then you go ahead on the inside, you run and add a drill and run a, a drill right through all four corners. What this will do is allow you to take a skill saw and cut along all four pieces of your rough opening to then have a nice beautiful hole. Now since we went with LP Smart Siding, I'm going to use our flush mount window. What I would do is take a top gun and run a bead of silicone on all four sides of our window. Once I have the silicone on all four sides, we'll go ahead and set this into place and our window is nice and tucked in. With that, that allows, that creates our water barrier. So once rain hits the building, it runs down, if it gets behind this flange, the silicone is going to protect it from water getting in your building. Now we have all these screw holes. We can add any kind of bevel head screw, or if you're going to add trim, go ahead and use a flat head screw, or go ahead and run some nails in it. But you pop your nails or your screw or your screws in, take any kind of trim board that you have, run it right up to this bevel line on all four sides, and you're done. Now with our J channel windows, that this would be instead of LP smart siding would be OSB. With the J channel uh, windows and typically using for vinyl and metal buildings, you have your OSB. Once you have your rough opening cut out, you would go ahead and then you're going to add your water barrier system, which is going to be something like Tyvek. You can buy it at any local hardware store. You go ahead and you wrap your building in your Tyvek. You would then follow the same process. You can pin some of the Tyvek on the inside. Uh, to create a nice smooth surface. Take your window, run a bead of silicone all the way around, press it in. Now, with this nailing flange, and that you don't want to do a bevel head screw because then you're going to run into problems putting your vinyl up. So I would recommend a flat head screw or a nail. Go ahead and solve your problem, very simple. And then once that's in, it's sealed, it's ready to go, you run your vinyl siding right on in. Now, also, Say, for instance, you're not running vinyl, but you do like that trim that we talked about. I can take that trim still on uh, LP Smart Siding building, have this kind of look, and then slide our trim board right on in to give you that unique finish. One of the other most frequently asked questions we get is how do you remove the screen? You know, it's springtime, you want to, you're cleaning your building, you have stuff behind your screen. How do you get behind there and clean? Well, it's pretty simple. So all of our vertical windows have a spring clip located on the top of each rail. So what that spring clip allows is it allows the window to move. Simply with a screwdriver, we can go ahead and compress one side, which lifts it on the bottom. We insert the screwdriver in and we just go ahead and we run it along. What this does is it allows the little screen to pop free and then out it comes. So these are that spring clip we were talking about, which gives us that little bit of spring. Now you can go ahead and clean your window. Now you're done cleaning. You have everything ready to go. You're ready to put your screen back in. Just reverse process. We put the spring side in down first. We go ahead and slide it. Now there is a little channel here. We want to make sure we set both of these in. So again, we can Go ahead, either I again, I like using a screwdriver to, in that cheat a little bit, but you push it down and you're set, and that's how you remove your screen.